Okay. I work in public health and my job is to work with uh, colleagues in environmental health to investigate cases of E. coli 0157 in, in Grampian. We see about 50 cases of E. coli 0157 a year and the reason we um, investigate every case is that we know that this infection can cause quite serious illness, especially in the young and the older groups in our population. It can cause a range of things from um, mild diarrhea through to what we call bloody diarrhea and in some people um, it can actually cause quite serious um, kidney kidney problems. And because of this we take, we take this infection very very seriously. We know that um, this particular type of um, E. coli, E. coli R157, is found in the feces of animals. And when you're thinking about how to reduce your risk, you need to think about um, how and where you might come into contact with, with animal feces. And the important thing to remember is that um, although E. coli R157 can cause serious illness, we can all take steps to reduce the risk and, and enjoy the countryside. And the important thing to remember is the fact that you need to wash your hands before you handle or prepare food for somebody else, or and wash your hands before you eat um, any any food things yourself, for example, sandwiches or your, your snack. Um, we know that um, people can acquire this infection from um, coming into contact with animals, and that can be through stroking or handling them or handling um, clothes that have been used when somebody's been working with animals, and also through um, if they drink water from private water supplies. We know that in Grampian we've got a large number of people on private water supplies, especially in Aberdeenshire. And again, people can actually take relatively simple steps to actually reduce their risk associated with private supplies. If you think your property is on a private supply, what I suggest you do is you get in contact with your local environmental health officer who will provide you with advice around how you can improve the quality of that water and whether or not you need to have some form of treatment on it. So by taking relatively simple steps, i.e. washing your hands and actually thinking about um, the activities that you do in the countryside and also to think about the quality of your water supply, you can actually reduce the risk of actually acquiring this infection. So one last thing I would like to say is the fact that if you do get diarrhea or vomiting, you really should not go back to work or school until 48 hours after your symptoms have settled. If you turn out to have something like E. coli 0157, we'll be providing advice to you on a one-to-one -one basis because there are certain groups in the population who we will actually um, expect to be away from work for a longer period of time. So really, in summary, um, to reduce your risk of E. coli 0157, wash your hands and stay away from work and school if you've, you've had symptoms of diarrhoea until your symptoms have settled.